So a lot of you seem to be interested in plasticity. So let's do a quick tutorial, like an introduction to plasticity by modeling something like this. So I'm just going to start up a new scene here. We get the default cube. We can uh, keep this for now. Uh, if you hit five, you get the perspective. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is add these chamfers here. Just bevel these edges a bit. So I'm going to go to the edge select mode here. You can hit two on your keyboard and uh, select an edge like that. You can hold on shift to select multiple edges or you can use control alt and then you can select a ring of edges like that. So I'll do that and now I have that. Now if I hit D, I can just bevel this or chamfer, fill it, whatever, depending on what application you're using. It's called a different name. I'm used to Blender, so I'll call it beveling. Uh, but I, you can also, you see this is a moth moth affiliate, but if you hit C, you get a sharp edge affiliate or chamfer. That's what I'm going to use uh, to get something like that. And uh, I can start adding in some detail. So I want to add a circle at the top here. So to do that, we're just going to go to the curve tool here, or circle select, and uh, you get this snapping option. Uh, that lets you select where you want the center of the circle to be. So I'm just going to select the center of the face here, right, uh, left click, and then drag about there, and then confirm, right click to confirm. Uh, if you re just right click right away, you get to shapes like that. But uh, what we want to do is uh, just select the circle, right click, and uh, then you have this option. So let's select K for the knife tool so that we create a cut out of this face and then right click to confirm. Then we have something like this. I'm just going to hit to offset this in like that. So we have an extrusion. Now, if I select, go to face mode, I can select this. If you hit O when selecting any face, you can insert it. So O, just drag and uh, about there should be good. Then I can select that face. I right click to confirm that face offset it or extrude it up, right click to confirm. Then now I can select this edge because I want it to be slanted. Uh, I can select this edge about here and uh, use the chamfer distance. So C, something like that, right click to confirm. I also want some details like in this example, these chips here. So I'm going to create a new object. Uh, let me select this cube. Go to top mode. I uh, want it to be around here, just around that size. I don't want it to be that tall, so I'm just going to push it down, right click to confirm, grab my move tool, push it up, in about there. I want to rotate it a bit, use my move tool. Yeah, something like that. I want this to be on every face. So let me go to the top view. To do that, we're going to use the radio option, a radio array option. So I'm just going to select that, uh, but make sure you confirm this move option and uh, right click and then radio option. Uh, it also uh, prompt you for a center. So I'm just going to select the center there and now you can see we have our duplicates or radio duplicates. You can use, you can hold down shift and then mouse wheel to add or reduce these. I'm just going to use four like that, uh, confirm. What I want to do is, let me first group these into a group like that. So this is a separate folder. If I want to turn it off, I can turn it off. And I can select these. I can select the main object, select the Boolean or use Q and select, go into this group and select all these objects because we want them to be used as our Boolean. So you select the object first and then the objects, the Boolean objects you want to use as the cutout bodies. And I think I want something like that. Also still have these options. Uh, that's how we can use to move. Uh, you have parameters here and you have tools here. So you have difference, intersect, union, or you can even hit G to move these around and see the update in real time. But I think that's good. I'm just going to right click to confirm so we have our cutouts like that. Now, I also want to add in some extra details to the edges here. Uh, and I'm just going to go to face, sec face mode, select this, select this, select this, select this. Hit O to insert, so just O, like that. Again, O to insert again. Select the Move tool, push these. Actually, I want to these out, these to be pushed in, just like that. So let me select these edges. Okay, I'm going to just do it on these two and now we'll mirror the others. So I'm going to use the chamfer, so C. 
I think we're good. Uh, we can also add in uh, this detail here, this and that. So I'm just going to come in here, create another cube, create another cube around this center. Uh, if you use tab, it can switch between the center, the center of your point, selected point, or the corner. So here we're using corner, and here we're using center. So I'm just going to use that, just extrude directly, and I confirm. Uh, uh, that will just create the cutout directly onto the mesh and i'm going to select the face go to face mode select the inside just push it up like that go to edge mode select this edge use the chamfer option to just like that can maybe also add in some cylinders maybe around here i want them to just go directly up so i'm just going to use uh, the face just play with the radius. If it intersects with the bottom one, it becomes connected. So then I can select this face here, push that in, right click, to confirm, connect this, push it maybe like that. You can use Shift D to duplicate this, like that. Let me add this to show you how the mirror works. So I'm just going to add a simple face like this. Maybe select the edge. And just give it a nice chamfer there. Yeah, something like that. If you want to use the mirror, all you have to do is just select the object and uh, you have this mirror X tool and I just select the option, you want, the axis you want. So I want this on the Y. I see a blue detail here, so I just want to select the opposite so that uh, that's mirrored on the other side. Right click to confirm and uh, we have something like that. If I want it on the other side, I also just have to use the mirror option on the Y. I make sure I'm not losing detail. So I've lost detail here, so I'm just going to use this axis. Is it this? Yeah, this. Right click and uh, that detail comes back and now we have Mirror. So yeah, that's uh, a quick introduction to plasticity. Hope you find it useful. Thank you.